Hello. Today, here in August 2015, we just wanted to update a little bit on importing and the XML from standard XML from Forage Analysis. And what we'd like to do is just do a quick review on what we're uh, seeing when we import the XMLs. So I have some XML, standard XMLs from two feed uh, laboratories. What I'm going to do is just go through a quick import export process to review the process. So I'm going to go to the import export tab in NDS. I'm going to import a feed analysis and that file type will be an XML and I went ahead and just saved those into my download files and I think I will choose this one right now and so I have the file chosen it's going to clone during the import and what I may do is edit the info during the import so I'm going to go ahead and proceed here import from Cumberland Valley um, this has come up because I have imported this feed once before. You will not see this when you do it the first time. But what comes up here now is the CVAS analysis, haylage, legume forage. And from here, I am able to see this feed. I can see the dry matter for this haylage is 36% dry matter. The crude protein is 20.9, 33.6 on the ANDFOM. So what I'll probably do is type in alfalfa here. And as I look down through my sample, I'm going to look for a 2136. And on my silages, here is a 2037. If I hover over the I, I can see that that's a 2037. That may be very similar to my result to my sample. So I'll click the box here and I'm able to click here. If you look down here, the 30 hour B3 fraction is listed in this sample as 3.94. It has a 30 hour NDFD, a 120, and a 240. So this is a 6.5. It has all three rates in there. So it's going to come up with everything. I can go forward and if you saw there was a small um, hammer which signifies the 6-5 calculators going through there and for our process here I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, demo 2015-803 and save that the um, edit Editing that feed right there allows me to go ahead and plug this in. Now, again, if it was me and I was working on a dairy, I may call this ABC, ABC, <laughs> ABC dairy and haylage and then the demo with the date. And so I would save that. The import's complete. So what I may do now is I may go back. Let's just back all the way out of there. And what I'd like to do is, again, import a feed analysis. And the file type, again, is going to be the standard XML using the standardized XML format from the major labs. Um, we can also send the definition for another lab if they would like to produce an XML to import through there. And I'm going to go to my downloads. Go ahead and do this one and I'm going to edit the feeds during import. So now when I click in, I'm going to import this from Dairyland Labs. And here is something that comes up from time to time and people report as an error. It's not an error, but what this is, it's a warning that says this, the uh, pop-up box is basically saying that all three NDFD time points are needed for the B3 rate calculation in 6.5 and they're not reported in this feed. We have a 30 and a 240. 
So what happens if you do not have all three NDFD time points, that being 30, 120, 240? So what we are going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at using this feed in a format of the 6-1 format where we just use the 30-hour NDF. In, in doing that, we will not use the 240 or measured NDFD. So what we want to do is go in and uncheck the carbohydrate C UNDF amount right here. I'll have to do that as soon as I get down here. And we can go through that process. So what I do is I go through, I uncheck here, since this is using only one time point, and then it will allow us the calculation on this silage of um, the using the 6.5 variety um, or the uh, 6 point, 6 6.1 biology. So let me go ahead and import it. And here it is. And again, I will do ABC farm, triticale silage. Um, demo 2015-803. And so now I'm going to save this. There is coming up another sample. And what we may do is go ahead and import that just, just to reinforce the principles. This comes up. It's a warning, not an error. And it's saying that all three time points are not calculated for this alfalfa hay. And so this alfalfa hay is using um, a single time point. And so if you want to exclude the UNDF 240 from the current import, you can uncheck the box. And by unchecking, it will not be imported. And you'll work with the UNDF, which is the lignin times 2.4. And that is the the um, um, the UNDF that we want to be using in the 6.1 or single time point system. And so within NDS, you can use the 6.5 system with the three time points. And we can also use the 6.1. But again, in doing so, we want to use the lignin times 2.4 UNDF number. And in order to do that, we unclick the box right here. So again, when the message pops up, it's telling us that we don't have all three time points. So we uncheck the carbohydrate C UNDF 240 number here. And then what we can do is select our feed to clone off of and proceed. And again, I'm going to go ahead and Uh, title my sample, and we can look at those in a minute, and then save the sample. So the import's complete. Now the samples have been imported into NDS, and I can go into my feeds, and I'm loading my feed library. And these forages appear up at the top. We can look at, we'll look at this haylage. Let that load. We can also go look at the feeds and look at the alfalfa hay here. So. This is not a function of the lab. It's a function of the test ask for. So if we go back to our haylage, we can see the analysis. We can go to quick data entry, do a quick scan, 36, 35.9 dry matter, NDF of 33.7. If I go to constant calculations, again, you see the, the process of the hammer coming across there. And we've got a 5.1 rate. And here we see that the measured 
UNDF of this sample is 16.5, the carbohydrate C fraction was actually a little higher when we were using the lignin times 2.4, it was at 17.5, and we are actually have a smaller UNDF pool. And so we're able to see that for that 33.6 NDF, we actually have a larger pool of potentially digested NDF at 17% instead of the 16% that was going to be calculated using the lignin times 2.4 method. If we click up at NDF digestibility, then you can see the three time points, the 30, the 120, and the 240. And when you're looking at those, that's all pulled in. It calculates a rate by itself. There's nothing we have to put in. And there is our rate. You can click on to the graph and you can see your fast pool, your slow pools here, and then the undigestible NDF pool here. And so that is looking at the import inputs for, for that uh, 6.5 biology. Now if we go over to the alfalfa hay that is run in the 6.1, we can go over the quick data entry and scroll down and look at this uh, this is a rough alfalfa hay, feedlot alfalfa for heifers. So 17.5 crude protein, 43 NDF. We can go to the constant calculation tab. We can see that the UNDF here did not be, was not imported. And if we go to the digestibility then, we can see that we have the single time point with the 2.5 here, which is the lag time. And again, it is running off of here, and so that's where we get our um, our rate right here. So again, just looking at the two systems, you're looking at 6.5, which uses all three of those. NDS will notify you if you do not have all three time points, and then it will ask you to unclick the UNDF C fraction of UNDF 240 so that it is not imported and you'll be using the single time point. So again, that's where we are right now. There's, the laboratories are still running both or now are running um, 6.5 as a rate system or you can get the old system of 6.1 with a single time point. So again, that's how we're importing the XMLs and that's where we are. Thank you for your time.